Yep. Amen. So God is saying that we cannot go into the next level or dimension with the old man, but we have to have a new king. Okay. Which is the spirit of God. Yes. So he as he tells them, and no one puts a piece of cloth that has been shrunk on an old garment, for such a path carries away from the garment and a worse strength care is made. So he's telling them that if they do it this way, there's going to be more of a tear in the garment because it is shrunk, it's old. But he tells them after that that neither is a new wine put in old wine skin, for it is the skin burst and are torn in pieces, and the wine is spilled and the skin are ruined. But new wine is put into fresh wine skin, and so both are preserved. So he's telling us not what we need to do, but also in what we need to do, that if we do those things, that we're going to be preserved. Okay, amen. We're going to be preserved. So what I want to do is kind of give you a breakdown of what a wine skin is and everything else in the passage of Scripture. Uh, what we need to understand is that the wine represents us. Okay, amen. Where it says new, new, where it says wine, it's us. So if you want to circle that, just circle it. New wine, which is us. So God is saying that in order to, to walk in the in the level and degree of our assignment, we have to have a new wine skin. And if that new wine skin is going to take a lot of stretching. It's going to take a lot of prayer and intercession and knowing the word to be able to become what we need to because we are made in the likeness and image of God. So when we see ourselves, we need to see ourselves in the likeness and image of who he created us to be. Right. So that's why we cannot say, well, I was this way because we are, even though we live in a physical body, our real man is the spirit man that lives within us. Amen. And that's why when the Bible talks about putting our flesh under subjection, we're going to deal with this flesh into the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. But we have the ability to put our flesh under subjection. Wow. So whatever habits or whatever the things that we're dealing with, we have the ability that God has given us the power to be able to, uh, for that to be subject unto us to tell them, no, you're going to get in line today. So right. when we have the new mindset of God, then God can move in the level that He wants to in our lives. Amen? Amen. One of the things that we need to understand that wine skin simply means an outer covering of something. So we know about our bodies, we're in a cover of something. You guys look down. 